Yo, I'm Matthew Kingpin. Based on the title of this video, I'm going to be elaborating on why I believe the infamously inferior CT rifle is perfectly fine the way it's currently implemented in the economy of CS2, and why buffing it could be a meta-ruining mistake. This explanation is going to be quite a bit shorter than my other videos, so I'm not going to delay getting into it any further. Let's discuss my reasoning. Let's get this question out of the way right away. Is the FAMAS bad? Absolutely yes. The wildly wimpy weapon does poor damage, has terrible recoil, and is generally more unreliable than Kevin, who is still AFK in T-Spawn. Dude, just play the game! I've absolutely made more than my fair share of fun of that silly gun, even in my own videos, so why are its mediocre stats and lackluster performance okay? To explain, I need to discuss a concept about the CT side economy first. I've talked about this more at length in my MP9 video, but basically one of the core design principles of the defending side economy is the concept of scarcity. Without it, CT side would lose a lot of the depth of choice that it currently has. It's important to always only just barely be able to afford what you need as the defending side. Because money is so scarce, you have to make sacrifices in your buy rounds, scraping together whatever you can to buy only some of what you'd realistically want to buy for any given round. Buy an M4A4, now you're not able to get full nades. Buy a kit, that just cost you the ability to purchase a high explosive. Buy full nades and full armor, now you're stuck using this stupidly sucky FAMAS. Without these limitations, CT side loses that decision making which makes it so interesting as a player, because you can just buy whatever you want every buy round and feel comfortable. CTs realistically should never feel too comfortable in their buys, considering they're the ones who are supposed to be put on the back foot and pressured by T side aggression. What is the purpose of the FAMAS then? It's supposed to just barely vaguely resemble the options that you actually want in the M4s. It's the, is Pepsi okay? of CT side choices. If the gun were any stronger, there's a reasonably high chance that it would just get purchased over the M4s in buy round scenarios, and CT side would both become a lot more force happy and a lot less tactically deep. If that sounds ludicrous, let's not forget the CZ-75 or the UMP metas of previous versions of Counter-Strike, where even at the pro level, full buys looked like players oftentimes opting for those more situational but far cheaper choices over their bread and butter main rifles. Look at how the game is now. Oftentimes people will buy MP9s over the FAMAS or other rifles on full buys. If there exists an option that's even somewhat comparable to the M4s, players, including the best of the best, can and will switch over to using that option instead of the pricier A1S or A4. Is the FAMA so bad that you'd never use it? No, not really. It can, in theory, dual players using AKs in the same way that a Ford Pinto can, in theory, get you from point A to point B. It does its job of acting like it's more desirable, more expensive CT rifle brethren. Just don't expect too much out of it. And also try not to spontaneously combust while using it. As insane as it might sound, the FAMA sucking is a vital part of the meta of the game. That's all I have to say for this video. I know this was a lot shorter than my average video on this channel, but there's a couple reasons for that. One, I don't really like fluffing up video lengths if there's nothing further to add. If all the points I want to get across equal out to only 3 minutes of duration, then that's as long as the video needs to be. There's no need for me to waste your time as the viewer. And two, sometimes I go through spells where it's tough to get anything done. I don't want to bother you down with the depressing details, but life is really tough sometimes, and talking about a smaller and easier topic is a way to let me make things, even when it's hard for me to make things. So yeah, occasionally I'll be making something smaller in scale just so it can actually get done. I've gotten a lot of nice comments over the past month or so of new uploads, so I wanted to directly thank you all for the kind words, it means a lot. If you think this channel deserves to grow, by all means do the typical liking and commenting for the algorithm, but also consider sharing this and any of my other videos with people who you think would enjoy watching them. Especially with Kevin, because he keeps going AFK, the rat. As a small creator, there is only so much I can do to grow my channel on my own. I have a Ko-Fi page now if you'd like to support me directly, and I have also set up a Discord server for the channel if you'd like to join that and get more direct updates on any of my new uploads. Anyways, that's everything. As always, please give me any and all feedback you have to provide on this video and any others I've made. It is all read and appreciated deeply. Burn your dread, and that's all. Ooh, that nade slowed oh, me. Oh, what a trap, Matthew. That shot was golden.